<clears throat> so I've shit talked the old Randall RG 100 ES probably enough as of lately because I'm still very much still of the opinion that this is not a six hundred plus dollar amplifier. For one thing, it's forty years old, and it is a single EQ, arguably single channel amplifier. Because even if you have the really rare foot switch for it, nine times out of ten you're still going to get horrific channel bleed. But I think I've talked bad about it enough, so I'm going to actually showcase some of the tones I've kind of gotten over the years of this thing. I've had my 86 for 12, 13 years now, I think. And I've always loved it with the extra sustain mode engaged. The only problem with that is, is that when you activate it, you lose like 16 decibels of output volume. So it's not exactly usable in the gigable or a jam uh, sense of the word. But if you're just playing at home like I do nine times out of 10, it's more than enough. Another thing that's lovely about these amps is that famous 60 cycle hum that you can definitely never get rid of. But this is the extra sustain mode engaged. This is with a old blue face six band pushing the front and with an Apex 104 in the loop. And this is with an older Bill Lawrence USA L500XL in the guitar. <laughs>
once again show that this really does not add to the Dimebag tone that much. Unless you're specifically going for the Hellbound flanger or that eerie doubled up uh, guitar solo sound like that you and Zach would do a lot, that little... <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 